Much of the Revolutionary War was fought in the South in 1779 and 1780. This video explores the sieges of Savannah, Charleston, and the battles of Camden and Kings Mountain. The Siege of Savannah took place between September 16th and October 18th, 1779, near Savannah, Georgia. After losing several battles in the north, the British shifted to the south, hoping to gain southern loyalist support. In September 1779, American forces planned to retake the city of Savannah, which the British had captured nine months earlier. The 3,000 British troops stationed in Savannah were led by General Augustine Prevost. Major General Benjamin Lincoln led the 5,500 American soldiers. The siege was a joint operation, as the French Navy under Vice Admiral Comte d'Estaing participated, as well as 500 black Haitians who volunteered in exchange for their freedom. The Americans could not recapture Savannah because of poor communication and decision making. The Americans suffered heavy casualties with 245 killed. The French departed, leaving Lincoln to retreat to Charleston. The newly formed alliance suffered a significant setback with the defeat. The Siege of Savannah was a critical victory for the British, who would control the city for nearly the rest of the war, and it boosted the British's confidence in advancing their southern strategy. The Siege of Charleston took place between March 29th and May 12th, 1780, near Charleston, South Carolina. After successfully capturing Savannah, the British forces continued their southern campaign, hoping to gain loyalist support. The British, led by Lieutenant General Henry Clinton and Major General Charles Cornwallis, sailed from New York to the Savannah River to attack Charleston from the southern side. Meanwhile, the Americans, led by Major General Benjamin Lincoln, attempted to fortify the city. On April 1st, the British began their attack. The Americans fought hard, but they were outnumbered and quickly became surrounded. General Washington had advised Lincoln to evacuate his men if the situation became dire. However, Lincoln refused to after being influenced by civilian leaders. Ultimately, the British captured the city and forced Lincoln to surrender on May 12th. Both sides saw around 250 of their men killed or wounded. The Siege of Charleston was a significant victory for the British. They captured over 5,000 prisoners, the largest surrender of Americans in the war, and established a strong British military presence in the South. The Battle of Camden occurred on August 16, 1780, near Camden, South Carolina. After losing Charleston to the British, the Americans sent more troops to the southern colonies under Major General Horatio Gates. Gates was confident he could defeat the British forces led by Lieutenant General Cornwallis and did not listen to other military leaders insisting they wait. The battle was a disaster for the American troops. Although they outnumbered the British 4,000 to 2,200, over 1,000 Americans were too sick with dysentery to fight. The Continental troops were also very disorganized and lacked communication. By the end, the British only suffered around 300 casualties, while the Americans suffered 900. Major General Johann de Kalb, a highly respected German field commander aiding the Americans, was also killed. The Battle of Camden was a significant victory for the British. They captured a thousand men and strengthened their southern campaign, as Camden marked the second time the Americans were crushed in the south in 1780. The humiliated General Cates was removed from command and replaced with Nathaniel Green. The Battle of Kings Mountain occurred on October 7, 1780 in South Carolina. The battle proved to be a major upset for British hopes to secure control of the South. Lieutenant General Charles Cornwallis planned to attack into North Carolina after the British captured Charleston and decisively won at Camden in 1780. Cornwallis sent Major Patrick Ferguson west with 1,000 loyalists to protect his flank and supply lines. Ferguson warned Patriot militias and frontiersmen, called Over Mountain Men, gathered in the Appalachian Mountains, not to resist. Colonel William Campbell and Isaac Shelby led the Patriots to surround Ferguson's camp on a rocky hilltop in western South Carolina called Kings Mountain. The Patriots assaulted and counterattacked numerous times from all sides. The attack was a disaster for the British, as they suffered nearly 400 casualties and 600 captured, while the Americans only suffered around 100 casualties. Ferguson was also also killed in battle. The Battle of Kings Mountain was the first significant setback for Britain's southern strategy and convinced Cornwallis to abandon his march to North Carolina.